All right, so here for the final stage, what we're going to do is do a little cleaning. Just a, this is kind of an optional step, but there's sometimes a little bit of grit left in there, and you just want to run it underneath the water a little bit. You see here there's a little grit. So we just take your thumb and pull it out of the shell. Very easy to separate. And then you just kind of rinse it off between your finger and your thumb under the water. And uh, that way you can get all the meat and less of the... Sometimes these guys get a little gritty, but not too bad. Once in a while you'll find a little pea, pea crab in here. A little crab that uh, actually lives and dwells inside the neck of the clam and keeps it clean. But uh, I don't see any today. It's more common in the summertime. But uh, we're just going to work through this. I'll get my rhythm going here pretty quick. And I'll doesn't take very long to do this step. <clears throat> Just kind of rinsing out, separating the shells. Then of course these beautiful purple shells can go in your garden or go wherever you like. You make use of them also, maybe a little decorate, a little decorative. But uh, the purple on the inside and the varnish look on the outside is how they get their name. Purple varnish.